Hi, welcome to another eye health episode on my channel. What is a lazy eye? How early should you bring your little one in for an eye exam to make sure they don't have it? Let's answer those questions today. Many parents simply don't know how early or often they should bring their child in for an eye exam. So they only bring their child in when a problem is finally noticed, but earlier diagnosis and treatment of eye problems almost always yield better results. Lazy eye is certainly one of them. If your baby is not meeting his or her developmental milestones, or you notice a white pupil instead of a black one, or if you notice anything concerning within your good judgment, you can book an eye exam for your baby as early as needed. Generally, it's recommended that the first eye exam should take place at six months, then at three, and then annually thereafter throughout their school age years. In Ontario, the eye exam is free for children 19 and under, so make sure to take advantage of that. From my clinical experience, lazy eyes have two meanings to the layperson, an eye turn or a weak seeing eye. The medical term for an eye turn is strabismus, and the medical term for a weak seeing eye is amblyopia. Here's what I think you need to know about these two conditions. For babies even up to six months old, it's common and normal to see occasional misalignment of the eyes. This is because the eye muscles are still strengthening and developing to work together. Generally, you should be seeing the misalignment less and less with time. However, if the eye turn persists or becomes more consistent even beyond six months, this warrants an earlier eye check for your baby with your local optometrist. The eye that turns in or out can often result in amblyopia or poor vision, which we will discuss next, because the brain will choose to develop the vision in the eye that is focused correctly and give up on the lazy eye. I would like to place a little more emphasis on amblyopia in this video because while an eye turn is more easily noticeable in children, Amblyopia, in many cases, is not. Amblyopia is when one or both eyes cannot see 20-20 or the smallest row on the eye chart, and this is not readily correctable with any optical correction, including with glasses, contacts, or laser correction. Amblyopia is a result of something blocking a child's vision from properly developing. This could be due to a congenital cataract or an eye turn, but the most common reason for amblyopia is an undiagnosed need for glasses correction. When a child has an abnormally high refractive error that includes nearsightedness, farsightedness, and or astigmatism, this causes blur in their vision in the affected eye or eyes. This in turn sends a poor signal to the brain for vision development, and the vision just doesn't develop properly or to its fullest potential in the involved eye or eyes. It is also important to know that the window of opportunity to fix amblyopia is relatively small and doesn't extend much past the early years of one's life for most people. If you wait till your child is older and only bring them in when a vision problem is noted, we can give them the glasses correction they need at that time, but there is a chance that the eye can still suffer from irreversible amblyopia because it was not treated early enough. It's almost like a child learning a language. The earlier the exposure, the better. You can try to teach an older person the language, but she likely wouldn't be as fluent in it as if it was her mother tongue. The neural connections are just not comparable to those we make when we are very young. Similarly, when the ideal vision development period is past, the lazy eye or the poor vision can become permanent. Without two eyes seeing well together, depth perception or the ability to see 3D would be affected. Field of view would be constricted. And if anything happens to the good eye, the other would not serve as a backup. 
There are also professions that require a certain level of vision in both eyes in order for one to qualify. In order to ensure the best vision and future opportunities for your children, make an annual eye check a priority for your little ones. If that helped you to learn a little bit more about what a lazy eye is, make sure to support by hitting the like button, subscribe so you can learn more about different topics relating to eye health, and hit that notification bell so that you won't miss the next video. Until then, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!